Alright, so what to do if you want to get a perfect white background in your render? This is always when you need a product render or something. So it's actually pretty simple. So I was working here with a backdrop, but in this case you don't want the backdrop. So now you just have the product. And first of all, you just with Shift A, you create a mesh and you create a plane because this plane will act as a um, shadow catcher because always in those product renderings we have those uh, shadows. So here you have them uh, perfectly. And now let's get a white background because then we can fully focus um, on the lighting and create yeah, the exact lighting as we want it. So just drag out uh, one window and go here to the shader editor and uh, change from object to world. So right now I have an H um, yeah, a simple HDRI environment plugged in. But when you light such products, most of the time you, uh, you don't want to do it with an HDRIs. So let's unplug that. And now you see everything gets uh, dark already. So right now we only have this one light source. So the white background you can get if you just press Shift A and type in backdrop, uh, background and connect the background to the surface and make the color here to completely white. And you see it's still gray and this is because I am using here. So if you go to the render and you are in cycles, right? But if you go down to the color management, I have here the view transform the AGX because yeah, it gives just the best lighting, but you can get straight completely white out if you go to, if, if you go to standard, but the problem with standard is you see the, the light is very bad quality and um, yeah, it's overexposed. So I really like uh, to work with AGX. So to compensate, you can just increase the strength a lot. So I don't know, like something 50 or something. So just increase it because now it's white, but now everything is overblown. So we just want the white background. So we have to create another background node with shift D and now we have to mix them. And so with shift A, we bring in a mix shader and we connect one background to one shader, the other to the other and the shader to the surface. And now we have to bring one of the background to zero. And now we just have to tell the camera. So this white background is only seen by the camera and you can achieve that if you press shift A and you type path, light path. So bring it here. And now you just connect the is camera ray to the factor of the mix uh, shader. And you see background is white, but uh, we see our plane. It's because I forgot to make it as a shadow catcher. So just select the plane, go to the object uh, tab here. And here in the visibility, you have shadow catcher. So just type so just select uh, here shadow catcher and you see you have your shadows with the perfect white uh, background. And if you want, you can, can connect um, an HDRI environment to the first background and just increase um, the, the strength a little bit. And you can work with that if you want, but I don't want it because right now I just have my light sources you see and I have full control over the product and I can exactly recreate uh, this product render here so leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss those tutorials and quick tips and see you in the next one bye and if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to take your skills even further check out first link in the description my blender course will guide you step by step to mastering photorealistic product rendering so don't miss it out check out first link in the description box thanks for watching leave a like and see you in the next one bye